What is up everyone and welcome to my video on this Lenovo ThinkPad R61. Now I know a lot of you are asking a lot of questions at the moment and a lot of things are up in the air with my setup, but this is a little plan that has kind of gone right for me, so it's nice to make a video about something that's actually working. Right here in front of you, you see the box to a ThinkPad R61, like I said. I decided to order one of these from eBay, I got it for around £60, and if you're interested in seeing the eBay seller that I bought it from, uh, then there's a link down in the video description, head on down there and check it out. This was a great deal for the quality, I'm sure most of you are familiar with the quality of uh, ThinkPad laptops. The R61 is not up there with the T-Series, but it's certainly a nice machine from around 2007-2008 era. We'll take a look at the specifications later. Now a lot of you may be wondering why the heck have I got a Windows machine? Well, I want to expand my business and I want to start repairing a few more computers. At the moment I get probably about one or two computers a month into repair and I want to ramp that up to earn a little bit of extra money, especially when I move and I have my own office space and stuff. So it's a little bit stupid trying to repair other people's Windows machines without your own Windows machine. So I want one because it's going to make things a lot easier and I decided to go for a laptop because because I don't want the stress of having a desktop with a monitor and a mouse and a keyboard. I just want this nice little laptop that I can whip out whenever I need the job done on the Windows side of things. So, it's basically here as a safety net to allow me to um, much more easily troubleshoot things, work around things that you can't do on a Mac. And like I said, it's a bit stupid uh, trying to run a PC repair, little, little PC repair stem of your business without even having a PC yourself. And yes, I do have a load of random desktops around, but it's just... I wanted a laptop, so I've decided to grab this, and I'm going to make a few videos about it as well. It's a nice machine, plus I've always been curious about ThinkPads. So, let's have a little look around the system. I was surprised that it came in the original box, so I wasn't expecting that at all. As you can see, it's pretty nice condition. It's quite an old system by now, but for some reason it did smell like hospitals when it came out of the box, but thankfully that passed straight away. Uh, the underside, everything's looking great. Nice condition. This is a pretty nice machine. On the side here, you can see we got Firewire, we got the PC card expansion, can't remember what you call those off the top of my head, USB, speakers and microphone, Ethernet, uh, 56k modem, as well as VGA and a cooling vent. On the other side, we have the Ultra Bay or whatever it's called. That's where the hard drive is. It's pretty cool. You can slide it out the side. I've got an upgrade video coming. And there's the DVD drive, which is a CD rewriter. And two more USB ports. On the back, we have something really cool, and that is an S-Video output for analog video. Absolutely amazing. And over the other side, we have the charging input. Along the front, you haven't got much. You've only got the Wi-Fi switch on and off the SD card slot as well as the latch to release the lid and as you can see the lid is pretty much thicker than the base of the laptop. The design of these think pads crack me up but they do look like industrial beasts of machines. This is the first one I've ever owned. As you can see I'm used to a MacBook. I don't like the fact that the lid lifts up the whole computer when you open it but it is what it is and that is pretty much the machine open. You can see the ThinkPad logo, it looks absolutely great. Intel Centrino and Windows Vista branding, that's a blast from the past right there with both of those. There is the sensational trackpad and uh, touch point, even though I'm not really good at them. They are uh, pretty much probably one of my favorite trackpads on PCs just because of the buttons. The buttons feel so nice, they've got a lovely tactile feel to them and uh, yeah this trackpad is so small compared to the trackpad on my MacBook Pro. Again the MacBook Pro is the laptop that I'm used to so it's so strange having such a small trackpad. The keyboard is absolutely gorgeous, feels so so nice, great key travel, it's just it's a business grade laptop, it's absolutely phenomenal keyboard and it just doesn't flex at all. Of course we've got little volume buttons um, and a power button and all sorts of different function keys like brightness up and down and keyboard light on and off and stuff like that. Quite a lot going on there at the top of the keyboard. And then going up we have the display, this is a nice matte display, a little bit dusty out of the box. Was expecting this laptop to come a little bit cleaner from a, you know, an eBay sort of reseller, but it's it's great and it came in the original box with the original charger, which was great. So the screen is in nice condition, no dead pixels. Here is the side of the laptop. 
looking rather bulky, as you guys can see, especially seeing my retina in the background there. And there is the lid, just showing you guys just how massive this thing is. But it is a beast, and I think it's going to serve me quite well, especially after I do a couple of upgrades. So, let's boot this thing up into Windows Vista and see what it does. There is the ThinkPad splash screen. This has got a hard drive in it at the moment, but there will be upgrade videos coming. Um, I'm probably going to put an SSD in it. I'm not going to keep Windows Vista on here. I'm definitely not. I'm probably going to upgrade the RAM, and I may upgrade the CPU as well. I'll show you guys the specs once this boots up in a second. You can see Vista loading up there. This is, again, a blast from the past. This is quite nostalgic for me because Vista was the last option operating system that I used before switching to a Mac. Our family PC at the time, which was a HP desktop machine, was running Vista, and I actually used it for some of my first very early YouTube videos on the channel that I had before this one. So it does have a little bit of a special place in my heart, but that doesn't mean that I want to be using it because it is very problematic. We have a fairly respectable boot up time for an old hard drive. This is a bit of a clunky drive making lots of noise, but Vista is bringing into life here as you guys can see. This is a 32-bit operating system, but this computer can support a 64-bit OS. It's got a 64-bit CPU. So there's me trying to figure out the track point. I've never been any good at them, so let's dive straight into using the trackpad and taking a look at the specs. This machine has an Intel Core 2 Duo T7100 in it. That's a 1.8 gigahertz Core 2 Duo. And it also has two gigs of RAM. That's DDR2 667 megahertz. I'll be upgrading that as well. Graphically, we're running on the Intel Intel 965 Express chipset family, that is of course integrated graphics. It shares about 384 megs of the main system memory. You could get these R61s with dedicated graphics, but that makes absolutely no difference to me. And of course, a laptop with integrated graphics is a little more reliable because it runs cooler. So I was very happy with this graphic solution. A lot of people are probably curious if this ThinkPad has the famous keyboard light. Well, here it is in all of its glory, and it's not majorly important impressive, but it's there and it lights up the keyboard as you can kind of tell in the dark shots. So there it is, a ThinkPad, complete with its track point and keyboard light and pretty much every feature that makes a ThinkPad a ThinkPad. It doesn't have the big sticky out at the back bulky battery and it's not crazy crazy powerful and it's not at all modern by today's standards but it is my ThinkPad, it's my first one and I think it's going to suit me well for the things that I want to do with it. So feel free to pop a comment down in the comment section below if you have any thoughts or feelings towards this computer or the video in general. If you enjoyed this video I've got plenty more like it so please head over to the channel and take a little look and subscribe if you enjoy what you see. In terms of this computer I've got a few more things coming up maybe two or three upgrade videos at a push but I'm sure you'll see it popping up in future videos here there and everywhere as it does the task that I intend it to do and that is help me repair other people's machines and generally get a little bit of a better understanding about Windows. So this has been my video on the Lenovo ThinkPad R61. Thank you very much for watching and as always I will see you next time.